from Ohio to New York to North Carolina. Clay Cole claimed his fame and fortune in the Big Apple, but he now calls Oak Island home. I just remember the, when I heard shaboom, shaboom, yeah, da, 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 or a womp, womp, a doo, womp, a womp, bam, boom, or uh, any, any of those wild sounds. I, I, I understood it. They're speaking my language. A language that landed him his own television show for nine years. Every Saturday at 7.30 p.m., it was lights, camera, action for Cole. The low-budget, black-and-white rock and roll show landed him guests such as music icon Tony Bennett. He puts his hand on my shoulder and he says, Hey, Clay, when are you going to have me on your show? I said, Mr. Bennett, anytime you want to come on. Bennett wasn't the only artist requesting an appearance on the Clay Cole Show. The Rolling Stones made their U.S. debut on his show, along with 50s and 60s superstars Frankie Valli and Dionne Warwick, just to name a few. We were young and... It was always summertime, and we were really something. From radio to TV, and now a book about his life, Cole has had quite the journey. Well, this is the last chapter of my life, and to have all this wonderful stuff happen to me at, at my age is just, it's overwhelming and thrilling. That journey hasn't ended. Fans are still following and supporting Cole through his retirement. A group is even petitioning for the Ohio native to be inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Back then, I had to pinch myself. I've had so many milestone events in my life. And once again, he's pinching. It would be a dream come true to receive one of music's biggest honors. Rockin' and Rollin' in Oak Island, I'm Nadine Mazur, WWAY News Channel 3.